Hey everyone, Jeff here, and we've got to talk about what's going on with HBO Max, Warner Brothers, and Discovery. Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel today for this video. This is gonna be a quick little news update, but as you know, I cover everything home entertainment and a lot of what's happening in streaming directly affects what's happening with physical media. So I wanna to talk to you today about this news with Warner Brothers and HBO and Discovery. So back last year around this time, it was announced that Discovery and their big media conglomerate was going to acquire Warner Brothers and AT&T and, and the two of them were gonna merge. So the biggest media entities there are Discovery and then HBO in the Warner Brothers studio. Now, a lot of the general consensus at the time was that since HBO Max is such a great streaming service, and it is, it has a great catalog of all these classic Warner Brothers movies, great video streaming quality, great audio quality, really good originals. Um, one of my favorite streaming services. It can't be at a disc, but it's good. The consensus was, well, Discovery will roll their stuff into HBO Max because it's already so well established and people like that platform. What's happening instead, which was announced this week, is that pretty much HBO Max is being dissolved into Discovery and by dissolved, they're getting rid of tons of HBO Max originals and HBO Max content. They're laying off 70% of the HBO Max staff and HBO will go back to being a cable network that has, you know, Game of Thrones and Barry and their big shows. But maybe the HBO Max originals could be in trouble. And the earliest sign of this was the other day when they removed six HBO Max original movies, including American Pickle, which was a Seth Rogen production. There's The Witches, based on a Roald Dahl book starring Anne Hathaway. I mean, not small name projects. Now you're probably asking, okay, well, how does this affect me as a physical media collector? And one of the cool things that I've seen online scrolling through Twitter in the last 24 hours is that physical media has had more mentions than I've ever seen from film critics, filmmakers, reporters in the industry, just your average Joes. Everyone's talking about either how important physical media is and showing off their collections or talking about how they're going to get back into physical media and questioning why they ever went to streaming in the first place because they're a little bit afraid with all of these different conglomerates coming together and streaming services just being killed off left and right that maybe they're losing access to some of the content they want to watch, which is something I've been preaching for years. If you really want to own something and you want to make sure you can access it, physical media or I guess piracy is really the only way to go. Now, the thing that worries me about this merger is not that we're losing shows and movies because a lot of that stuff actually is available on physical media right now. Although it may go out of print because of the Discovery merger, you can buy American Pickle, you can buy The Witches. They're available and they're available on video on demand services. So they're still out there. What scares me more about this merger and the way that it's being handled um, is that HBO and Warner aren't really taking the lead and Discovery is really taking the lead. And that's scary to me because Discovery is best known for HGTV, TLC, um, basically poorly scripted reality in quotes because most of it's fake television shows. We're talking toddlers and tiaras, we're talking Amish mafia, house hunters, property brothers. I mean, that's what they do. They do reality TV, scripted reality TV shows. They don't do film and they don't do movies and they don't do, you know, great original programming. They do kind of the lowest denominator, in my opinion, of entertainment on cable TV. So the fact that they now own Warner Brothers, HBO, that includes, you know, Comedy Central and Adult Swim and their properties. I mean, there's a lot of things, Cartoon Network, a lot of things fall under this. And the biggest thing for me is Warner Brothers and their 100 year plus catalog that's now being absorbed by essentially a company that's focused on TV and has a TV executive at the helm. And what's going to happen to all of those movies. I have the same fear of Warner being acquired here and merging with Discovery that I had when Fox merged with Disney. And if you've been following that, then you know that a lot of Fox back catalog titles are not making their way to physical media. Some of them have gone out of print and we're not getting a ton of 4K releases. The 4K releases we are getting from Disney and Fox were completed prior to the merger, like Heat, like Home Alone, like Speed, 
we're not getting new stuff. So I'm not trying to sound the alarms and say these things are going out of print. It's something we have to keep an eye on. We'll see how it develops, but it is a little bit alarming, especially since they have started sort of killing off content in shows and movies that Warner Brothers, you know, fully supported and would have pushed through. Um, this also speaks to a larger issue at hand with streaming and sort of the, you know, the digital only archives that exist out there um, and that, you know, filmmakers and audiences like us don't have a physical copy or access to a lot of entertainment and a lot of movies. Uh, I saw one tweet from the woman who created the show Dickinson on Apple TV. Uh, she was talking about how on the last day of production she was begging Apple to give her a physical copy. It was her show, her baby. She worked on it for years and she had to fight to get a physical copy. She was afraid five, ten years down the road that it just wouldn't exist anymore and if Apple TV is gone and her show is gone, how does anybody access it? Well, you either have to have a physical copy, which it sounds like she has the only one in the world right now, or you have to go to torrents and you literally have to pirate this stuff. And it's kind of sad that film and entertainment preservation has come down to a point where maybe piracy is your only option to watch things and access things. If it exists on physical media, that's also a great option and that's certainly a part of film preservation going forward. They can't take away your DVDs and your Blu-rays and your 4K discs. So if you have that collection, you've now become sort of an amateur preservationist or an archivist who has access to movies that literally millions of other people don't through their streaming services. But piracy is now also becoming a really serious thing to preserve movies and have access to them so it's just really interesting that you know streaming was always supposed to be like the thing that killed piracy it was you know it was going to be convenience and so easy to access things and now piracy is picking up again because streaming isn't holding up its end of the bargain and i think physical media will start to pick up again too for the first time in the last couple of months we're seeing increasing 4k sales numbers we haven't seen that in forever the 4k market is taking a bigger share of physical media up to almost 20 percent of physical media sales now that tells me i think more people are joining the market they've got playstation 5 and xbox they're uh, millions of players built into homes across the world and now they're picking up 4k content and realizing maybe streaming isn't the end all be all for entertainment and they really want to back up their favorites. So I think that's a very positive thing and that is the positive thing that will come out of all this is more people jumping into physical, we're gonna build a bigger community. And that is why I wanna make these videos. I know that you guys have heard this from me before if you've been on the channel for a while, but I wanna make these videos so other people who are new, who are searching out, you know, what do I do about this HBO stuff and, and the discovery merger, hopefully they find this video and they learn more about physical media from my channel and others that I will link to. And that builds the community and helps all of us. So anytime streaming, you know, starts to get a little wacky, you know, it's always a scary thing. It's always a, a net negative usually for audiences and, and consumers, but the positive side of things is there is an alternative and more people driving to the alternative, which is physical media, is always good for all of us. VHS tapes are still around, so are laser discs. DVDs and Blu-rays will be around for decades and decades to come. They're a resilient format that as long as they're stored properly and cared for, aren't going anywhere. So thanks for watching and listening to my views on this and my thoughts. Hope this gives you some context as to how I'm feeling about it. I know a few people ask me about it and how it affects physical. So here's my thoughts and you know, let me know if you agree, disagree, you think this is a good or bad thing for physical media. Personally, I think it's a net good thing. It's a net positive for physical media and it's only going to help grow our community. Make sure you follow me on social media for all the latest and make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video so we can grow the community and others will see it. Also make sure to check out all my partner links down in the description where you can support them which supports me and helps grow this channel and my content which is always greatly appreciated. So have a great rest of your day guys. Stay safe and healthy out there. Keep buying physical media and I'll talk to you soon.